Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> She's tired. I'm a morning person. So yeah, we're starting the day. Yeah. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Couple hours of sleep. Coffee, coffee, coffee. We're all right. She's always tired in the morning. She's not a morning person. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, we had a good breakfast though. Matt made some eggs from our chickens with some peppers that were from the garden that were in the freezer and some sausage from the store. So it's been quite the entertainment, you could say, the last couple of days with Eli especially just coming out of his shell and trying to help us work. So if you're one of those people that got a package from us and there's drawings all over the box, yep, that's from our kids. They're saying Merry Christmas. <laughs> so let's go get to work and I'm going to change into something more comfortable. <coughs> Perfect. Let's go. Before we can get to work, we need to warm it up in here because it is freezing. So I need to get the ash very carefully out of the fireplace. So I didn't get quite all of it, but my bucket is full. Get a different view. We also get a lot of uh, elm around here that's dying, and so it's barkless. And when you find them when they're standing up, they're when you take your moisture meter on there, they're generally about 18%, some are at 19 but that's perfect for burning, so you can literally cut down the tree and then throw it right in there. And I like using it because it's a really tight grain and it lasts a while. I don't like to leave the door cracked too long because you take all the heat and it's throwing it straight up the flue, so you can overheat your flue. So I tend to do it just for a little while until all the sticks and all the wood starts and then I close it. So as it keeps going like this, I just keep adding to it until it's full and then I'll bog it down. So we like to take that ash from our wood stove and put it on our garden. It's kind of like a low grade fertilizer since right now we don't really buy anything from the store. What do you do with your ashes? We'd love to hear um, some comments down below. So Matt and I are busy working, still trying to get those last couple Christmas orders out, right? Got a couple of ornaments running right now and they're done. Whew. We're getting close. So it's so it's so strange because normally during any typical day, our whole family, we still eat breakfast together at the table every day. And usually during the year, we eat lunch with whoever's home. Usually the boys are off in school, but the rest of us sit down at the table and eat lunch together. And we all sit down at the table and eat supper together. But during Christmas time... We don't always eat during Christmas time together, like per se. The kids will be out in the living room, but we'll be eating like on a table off to the side because we need a break too. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so we still eat breakfast together every day, which is definitely kind of our time to um, visit with each other and talk about our day and stuff. Um, but yeah, these couple weeks, it's just kind of how we make it work. So I'll show you what we've got for lunch because it's lunchtime. So Lydia and I just really love anything pickled and these are leftover pickled onions from another jar of pickles. So her and I are going to have some of those. Another thing I really enjoy pickled is pickled eggs. We're still trying to find just a great recipe for pickled eggs. We had one that we have always used but it had quite a bit of sugar in it and since we're trying to get away from that we're trying to find something healthier. We found a recipe that I like but the rest of the family isn't in love with it yet so we've just been making some tweaks trying to figure it out. So wine glasses finally came. They were what was it three weeks out so we have some customers that really want their stuff, needless to say, and there was nothing we could do. It just everyone, where we get our, all of our suppliers are sold out. So anyways, 
What I'm getting at is some of you guys follow us for garden tours and our greenhouse, some of them for bees, and some for laser engraving, and some just like to follow us because we're crazy. <laughs> but I got something, and I've been testing it out for the last two months now, and I didn't want to say nothing yet, but it's these. It is something for glassware. And it, like when you etch glass, you get a little bit of fine, like sharpness on it. Yeah, this take care of it like butter. It's so sweet. Now I'm definitely gonna have to do this in a video. But for those that you're watching, you got a leg up on everyone else. Excited. There will be affiliate link in the description below. So I have to share with you what happens when we are super busy, which this year we've been busy, but not so busy. well. Kids end up unattended a little bit and haul the garbage out for us, apparently. <laughs> ah. um, but I have to share with you what's going on with Matt because here's what happens when we are busy. Mervyn, good to see you again. Well, likewise, cat. However, I have a report that you're interfering with. <laughs> yeah, that's Matt. Passed out on the couch. <laughs> Yeah, that's Matt. Passed out on the couch. We just finished supper and we were sitting down actually to watch our video that came out today, um, the day we're filming this, because we usually watch it with breakfast and we just didn't get to it this morning. Just eating breakfast and then, you know, it's off to work for the day. So we were watching that with supper and uh, apparently we are so interesting that it put Matt right to sleep. So anyways, that's the end of today's vlog because clearly somebody's uh, had too much and if you know me well, you know I need to get to bed too. <laughs> so thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe down below. Glad you got to see us again. Bye. You can say good morning. <laughs> Intro. Good morning, everyone. Matt and Sarah. <laughs> <laughs>